up everybody. Brad here, back with another overnighter. This time I am in the San Gregonio wilderness, doing an overnighter to High Meadow Camp, starting at the Mamur, I think that's how you pronounce it, Mamur Trailhead, which is about 5,600 feet. Then I'm climbing up the Alger Creek Trail, which will take me about 11 miles and 5,500 feet again. So it's gonna be a tough one. If I have any legs left, I'm gonna uh, see if I can make it to San Bernardino Peak from there, which is about five or six miles. Then I'll come back and camp at the High Meadow Camp. Whew. It is late July. It's about 72 degrees. Seven in the morning. Super humid. But uh, I'm breathing heavy. I've not hiked any significant hikes for a month or so after catching the bug. So this will be a pretty good one. All right, I'll see you further down the trail. Sun's starting to peek out. I don't know if that's good or bad. Good, it may burn off some of this uh, humidity. Bad, it might be a lot higher. Cabin. A little area you could camp in. It's not too flat. I was kicking my butt. <laughs> I just left the what I think is the last water source before the spring next to my camp. 
I filled up another liter just in case. It's really nice down there, a little bit cooler. It is thick through here. So that saddle right in the middle of the screen is where I'm headed next. It's about a mile and a half away. That is the Dollar Lake saddle. These are the best peanuts. Oh, finally. At least this area is not burned. Well, it's flowing, but... I think this is camp for the night. A little shade. The junction's just up there. So in the morning I don't have too far to go. This is the bear boxer. Small, light, good for three days. A pain in the butt to open. So I might do a review on this. So I just finished setting up camp at High Meadow. It's about four o'clock. Dropped off the bear can, my food, most of the water. And I don't think I'm gonna make it to San Bernardino Peak. I just, uh, probably from about mile eight, eight and a half, which is about 8,500 feet. Just hit a wall. Just the switch went off. <laughs> was feeling decent up until that point. Um, I stopped, had a snack. That didn't really help. Just moving slow. So I, I don't think I have it in me to make it the six or seven miles to San Bernardino Peak and back. So I'm gonna try for Shield Flats Camp, which is about a mile 
on this ridge. And then if I have the energy from there, Shield Flat Peak. So it should be about two miles round trip. Put me back at camp at 5.30 or so. And uh, just in time to make dinner. It is exceptionally warm for 10,500 feet. It's like 74 degrees, just a slight breeze. Forest Falls, where I started, which is about 5,500 feet elevation. Must be at least 100 today. All right, see if I can muster enough energy to make it to this camp, and then maybe that peak. These marks are old school blazes. This side is solid rock to get to Shields Peak. And I do not have the energy today. Well, I found a way up to the ridge. And the peak is just over that. It's really disheartening all this, these dead trees. Shields Peak. Well, that was a little unnerving. I heard these branches snapping and moving towards me at a very high rate of speed. I thought, oh boy, there's a black bear running full steam towards me, or at least in the vicinity. And then I saw a bighorn sheep running as fast as it probably could, coming right down towards the camp, and then it changed directions and went up a... a it would be south on this ridge. But for it to be running that fast, something had to be chasing it. Well, I hope I'm not a easier pickings than that uh, bighorn sheep. Good morning, day two, San Gregonia Wilderness, broke camp about six o'clock, super calm night, no wind, got to 51 degrees, just a really peaceful, really peaceful sleep, no bear activity, <laughs> I don't think bears really to spend the effort to come up to the higher elevations. Um, it's not a lot of food sources up here. I, most of the reports I hear are down at Dry Lake or Dollar Lake. If you follow this spring, 
all the way back up. It starts right below where I camped, which is just a trickle. It's a little thick through here. You can see all the bugs coming out. If you can tell on video how steep this section is with this tiny little trail. I cannot imagine doing this in winter, even with crampons or micro spikes, because one slip, that's the end of it. Maybe even a slip when it's dry. Just got a couple, couple two and a half miles up downhill back to the car. It is heated up. It's in the mid 80s now. Still pretty humid. So hey, thanks for coming along. Another solo overnight backpack in the San Gregonio wilderness. We'll see you on the next one.